we've made it through six. Coming your way, a flashback to season seven of Naperville Sports Weekly. Per the usual with our area teams, the year was like a sampler platter. A little bit of everything. My co-host Joel Almo dips you back in time on this NSW time capsule presented by BMO Harris Bank. Thanks for joining us as we kick off what is sure to be an action-packed and fun. Naperville Sports Weekly entered its seventh season in the fall of 2013. While expectations are always high for the six Naperville area schools, not many could have predicted the run they would achieve that school year. One thing that was easy to foresee, Naperville North girls cross country running well at state. The defending 3A state champs brought home another trophy, finishing as the runners up to Glenbard West. Another mainstay at the state tournament was Bennett Academy girls volleyball. Despite losing nearly every starter from the championship teams to graduation, the Red Wings fell just short of a three-peat, falling to Mother Macaulay in the state final. 2013 saw an impressive and friendly rivalry come to fruition at the state girls golf meet. Wabonzi Valley junior Bing Singh Somali finished in a tie for second place with a 146 two-day score. But Nequa Valley sophomore Jessica Ewan broke away from the pack with a four-stroke state championship victory. After a pair of heartbreaking defeats in the state championship game in 2011 and 2012, Naperville Central Boys Soccer again fell just short of a state title. However, the Redhawks did win their final game of the season, knocking off Lake Park for the third place trophy. At the 2012 Girls State Tennis Tournament, Naperville Central's Tiffany Chen announced her presence to the IHSA by finishing fourth at state as a freshman. The unflappable sophomore made the leap in 2013, winning the state championship over Hinsdale Central's Bella Lorenzini. Chen wasn't the only Red Hawk to bring home a state championship in Season 7. Sydney Dussel continued the Naperville area run of diving success with a state championship of her own. The sophomore state title followed Taylor Kramer's state win for Bennett the year before and Lauren Michalecki's win with Niqua in 2010. Alyssa Gialamis of Wabonzi Valley also made a splash at the state swim meet. The senior took home first place in the 100-yard breaststroke in the Athletes with Disabilities division. Oh yeah, not only did Gialamis win the 100 and 200-yard freestyle as well, she also set state records in those meets which still stand today. The incredible fall season for Naperville Central was capped off at Northern Illinois University. Despite a 6-3 regular season, which landed the Redhawks in third place in the DVC, Coach Stein's crew went on an incredible postseason run to the state championship game. Central was matched up with a 12-1 Loyola team, which came into the game as the heavy favorites. But the Redhawks would not be denied as they brought home the second state championship in program history and the first since 1999 after a 13-10 victory. Moving into 2014, the boys' swim meet was historic for Matia Valley. Jordan O'Brien became the first individual state champion in school history, beating teammate Matt Salerno by one-tenth of a second in the 100-yard breaststroke. The Mustangs also finished seventh as a team. Wabonzi Valley Girls Bowling defended its state championship in grand fashion. Senior Julia Bond came one pin from a 300 in game one, and the Warriors rolled from there winning the state title by more than 200 pins. Bond also won the individual championship. Wabonzi kept the good times rolling through the winter into the hockey season. The Warriors won the Illinois West Conference and continued their strong play into the Black Hawk Cup. In the combined division championship against Glenbard, the Warriors controlled the game and raised the cup after a 3-0 victory at the United Center. Bennett boys basketball had made state tournament appearances before, but never under coach Gene Heidkamp. The Red Wings rode double-double machine Sean O'Mara to the state title game against Whitney Young and Jaleel Okafor, who would be the number three pick in the 2015 NBA draft. Despite trailing by 10 with just over a minute left, Bennett fought to the final buzzer, falling to the Dolphins 46-44. As the spring season sprung, Naperville North boys water polo made it to state for the second consecutive season. 
and just like in 2013, the Huskies fell in the semis to Fenwick. The Huskies were able to bounce back and bring home their second straight third place trophy. After Naperville North girls soccer had dominated the scenes for three consecutive years, it was Wabonzi Valley returning to state for the first time since winning three titles in four years in 2007, 2008 and 2010. The Warriors fell in the state semis but crushed Lincoln Way North 5-1 to win the third place trophy. At the state track meet, more individuals brought home some state hardware. Bennett Academy's Stephen Hubona showed off his strength winning the boys' state discus title by nearly 10 feet. Matia Valley freshman Courtney Morgan wowed the crowd on the girls' side, winning state in the shot put and finishing second in discus. Morgan was the only underclassman in the entire state to make the finals in either event. After years of close calls, Naperville Central boys lacrosse finally broke through and won the B-Class state championship in 2014. The 8-6 win over Warren allowed the Redhawks to join the rest of the Naperville area schools in the A-Class division. Season 7 showed the strength of the six Naperville area schools in just about every sport out there, with teams and individuals rising to the occasion and claiming the top prize. Season 7 also turned out to be the end of a three-year run from NSW host Alex Simmons, which meant a new host would usher in a new season that fall.